If your tummy is gloopy or your wings are droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Hey, welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, if you don't mind giving a like to the video, that really helps us out. Um, today we are playing Final Fantasy XIV. But, okay, so we reached this place, which is really nifty looking. This is crazy. So, we have to talk to you, Alpha Node. We did successfully get through and kill the dragons. Because that's what we're totally we're trying to avoid. <laughs> Yorzia, you know. I thought it cold in Curthus, but the air here could carries the chill of a dozen winters. Oh, wow. <laughs> Leveled up. I do really like Alphino's coat. Oh yeah, um, for those who weren't in the Discord, I found Alphino's boots on Amazon <laughs> and it's really tempting. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Just randomly was looking for something. Now that we have scaled the mountain, there remains the problem of finding Thrasvalga himself. <laughs> that dragon. <sighs> uh uh, the monks. What manner of creature is that? What manner indeed? They look like cats on oh, this one. They look a lot like cats. <laughs> Burr, do my eyes deceive me or was that a moogle? <laughs> Not. Yes. It was my understanding that the only, they only dwell within the Twelves Wood. I certainly never expected to see one in the churning mists. If the moogle does live here, however, he may know where it makes his lair. Quickly now, before we lose the creature completely. <laughs> the Moogles! Well, I'm excited we get to see Moogles. I kind of wondered when I uh, walk up here and it's called Mog Home. Yeah? Just, uh. Just had a thought. Oh my goodness! <gasps> I love these giant puff balls. <laughs> Dubugus! Bah, he's gone. Burr, we must widen our search. <laughs> oh no. Is that an ether thing up there? Just a glowing thing. Is it just a light? Everything is sparkling. It just hurt just a little. Not too much. Hey, Sean! It's good to see everybody. I've definitely missed everyone. Oh, is it? That makes sense. We did see a Moogle, did we not? <laughs> I've heard tales of these Moogles, but tis the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. They are rather adorable, aren't they? What? Why do you stare at me so? Can I not find a creature adorable? My heart is not truly made of ice. Yes, lots of pollen. I love the big puff balls. I love that she is actually like a big softie. Like, she wants peace... And then she's like, the Moogles are adorable. She's just like a sweet lady. <laughs> she's really not a terrible monster. The nearby air appears warped. You sense that concealing magics are at work. Oh. <gasps> what is that? Oh yeah, there's orbs all over.
There's no sign of Boo Boogle in the area. Well. Concealing magics. Just look at that one. Do 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 do. Maybe up there. Oh wait, did we like this one? Maybe not. Yes. Out of everybody, <laughs> he is the most out of place here. I see no mo evidence of mo this Moogle of yours. Are you certain it wasn't a trick of the light? Mayhaps it was simply one of these strange plants shifting in a breeze. Yeah, it's definitely got a, a Wonderland feel to it. The Moogles would fit in well in Wonderland. Ooh, this one's sparkly and pink. The nearby air appears warped. You sense that concealing magics are at work. Well. Alphanon, there are no Moogles. They're hiding. Confound it. Could we but enlist the aid of one of the local Moogles? I am certain it would not elude us for long. <laughs> Though the eye enables me to sense the presence of dragons, I can only identify need hogs with any certainty. We could wander the mist for days and not know if we were any closer to his blood brother. And those are days we cannot well afford to squander. Shall we divide our forces then? My dear Sale, might I ask you to question any dragons who you judge it it's safe to approach? I shall try. Yet I fear the influence of Needhog's rage will render most of the Druidians in the area deaf to reason. And what of you, Master Alphano? I have not yet given up on the Moogles. <laughs> Burr, come with me to Gridania. I mean to petition the aid of the Moogles' kin in the Twelveswood. After that business with Moogle-Mog, I dare say they will be glad to help us. Moggle-Mog, the king. Assuming you have no need of me, I shall remain here. <laughs> he wants to hang out where the Moogles might be. <laughs> Needhog senses both the loss of his consort and the coming of the eye, and his attention is firmly fixed in this direction. I mean to do what I can to hold his gaze, in the hope that it might delay any action against Ishgard. Thank you, Astidian. He really just wants to try to catch up with the Moogles, that's all. Come then, Bo, let us make haste for Gridania and rendezvous at Novika's altar, but... Ah, but I neglected to tell you, there's an etherite of ancient construction here which should make the return journey rather less arduous. Pray do not forget to use it. I think I just touched it. Moogle Moogles. I love the Moogles. The Elder Seeds here awaits you. Pray follow me. I bid you welcome, friends. The Admiral spoke of having met with you, but tis no less of a relief to see you safe and hail with mine own eyes. We humbly thank you for agreeing to receive us upon such short notice, my lady, and for all you have done for us in our absence. Would that it was solely to express our gratitude that we came to you this day. Alas, the tides of battle yet dictate our comings and goings. Elder Seed, sir, we would beg your wisdom in a matter that may finally bring an end to the Dragon Song War. Speak on, friend. Word. I see. So you seek a means to contact these Moogles of the Churning Mists. Kupopo, I say. Kupo. <laughs> Kupo. Greetings, Kuplokop. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? I was struck by the sudden urge to bring you some fruit, Kani. And I'm... <laughs> Kani. <laughs> and I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these Moogles in the sky, Google. 
I will gladly tell you all I know, though it amounts to precious little. We encountered a Moogle high in the clouds of Dravidia and had hoped that you and your kid and the Twelves would might agree to facilitate the meeting. Pray correct me if I'm mistaken, Kuplo, but there are legends, are there not? Indeed there are, Kuplo. Long, long ago, back when the world was still young, they say my ancestors served the gods up in the heavens. Of course, that was before their masters took to bickering like spoiled children. Ah, uh, yes, the tale of Good King Mogulmog the Twelfth. He is revered for holding fast to a rope of miraculous length that his subjects might climb down from the sky and escape to the world below. Hmm. Ignoring the more fanciful aspects of the tale, it might well be that Kuplo's ancestors hailed from the churning mists. Given how long his kin have resided in the Twelve's Wood, it is perfectly possible that the details of their history have faded into myth. Indeed, Master Alphanode. Such stories often contain a measure of truth. Tis like that that the Moogles of the Churning Mist tell similar tales of the world below. I can well imagine why the one you encountered fled at your approach. Well, we are kind of a scary looking bunch. <laughs> oh, fleeing second nature to us. We often hide when the larger races come tramping through the forest. Of course, where there's one Moogle, there's bound to be more. It's so cute. Which is why I've decided to take a trip to the clouds, Koopa. They surely won't be afraid to talk to me. I was hoping you might say that, Master Kuplo. You will accompany us then. Just you try and stop me, Kuplo. I'll admit, the thought of venturing outside the Twelveswood is a bit unsettling, but I can hardly refuse a chance to meet my distant, distant cousins. Lend my voice to your cause as an ambassador of Gridania. <laughs> a bat, a cat, and an anglerfish. It's quite the combo. But, my lady, I... Are you quite certain? How oft has our nation turned to the scions of the seventh dawn in its hour of need? How oft have we asked the warrior of light to risk her life to save our own? Full many times, I say to you, and never have they refused us. Thus do I choose this day to offer mine aid to our allies for the good of the realm. Oh, well, it's about time. Is this not just? A most unexpected and most welcome offer, Elder Seedseer. We would be honored by your presence. Spoiled by the good voice acting. Now you gotta deal with my <laughs> interpretations. <laughs> uh. Voice actors, come back! Okay, so now we gotta go back up there, eh? Pray return to the summit and inform our companions of these developments. I will serve as the Elder Seedsia's guide on the journey back to Som Al. Each being a path I have already trodden, I do not anticipate any great difficulties. Besides, we shall have the Elder Seedseer's personal guard to escort us. Alright, now we gotta go find Estidian. <laughs> always. The Moogles are always a problem. I've got an infestation of Moogles. Oh, they should talk to this. They are cute in FF12. Hey, Gemini. Welcome in, everyone. Oh, he's over. Well met, Warrior of Light. Needhog is not stirred, but he watches us, unblinking. Hmm. The Elder Seeds here herself answers your call, and there is not to do but wait. They are here, Burr. Greetings, my friends. I am happy to report that our journey was mercifully uneventful, devoid as the road of, was of Dravidians. It would seem the dragons have abandoned some all for the journey mists. Elder Seeds here, may I present to you Sir Astidian, Ishkard's Azure Dragoon. 
Tis an honor to meet you, Sir Astinian. I have heard many tales of your order's extraordinary skill and courage. Fancy bow. He's so tall. <laughs> Friends, I feel it only right to inform you that we are not alone. The Mughals are all around us even as we speak, and I could imagine they are more than a little concerned by the horde of strangers that have descended upon their home. Hey, up now would be an opportune moment to introduce ourselves. This should serve. They're hiding, of course, but there are so many of them, Koopo. I am Khan Isena. My companions and I have braved the long road from the Twelvesword to share words with you. On this, the occasion of our first meeting, we bring an offering of light and wind. <laughs> Dragon bait. Oh, <laughs> I love it, the horn. Ooh, such a gentle and pleasing glow, Koopo. This Google clan. Chief Tumoglin, it is an honor to meet you. Greetings, I am Kublo Kop, ambassador of the Twelve Sword Moogles. The Moogle from the world below, your hide is of a different hue, but that poem is unmistakable. I might need a moment here, Kupo. My companions were no less surprised to learn of you, or your existence here amongst the clouds. I hope they did not startle you over much in their eagerness to make your acquaintance. Full well can I imagine your wariness. I am told that men have not walked here an eye on a thousand winters. Mayhap you will forgive them their forwardness when I unfold you to the grave matter which brought them into your midst. My companions crave an audience with the great worm that they might negotiate an end to the war to expand a dragon. An end to the war, you say? Hmm. I trust you, Kani Senna. The light of peace shines brightly within your soul. But I am afraid the same cannot be said of your friends. To be plain, we did not hide ourselves because they were the first of your kind to be seen here in a thousand years. Well, not only because of that. We hid because we smelled dragon blood. These skies are home to many, many dragons. While well, some crave peace, such as many others crave the opposite, such as Nidhogg. Suffice it to say, we are worried that the presence of your blood-spattered warrior friends will attract the attention of the nastier kind and invite destruction into our happy home. I mean, it's fair. Now, just a moment, Chieftain. Bar here may have doled out the odd thrashing or two, but it's always been for a really good reason. <laughs> she is a champion of the Twelve Sword Moogles, and I'll not hear her good name slandered. Now, now, Ambassador, let's not ruffle each other's fur. I shall, of course, take your testimony into consideration. He's so big. <laughs> If I may, Chieftain, there is little room for trust twixt strangers. Might we not take this opportunity to learn more of each other? <laughs> an excellent suggestion, Gubo. In the interest of fostering friendship and keeping an eye on you, I extend to you the hospitality of Mago. Prove yourselves worthy of our assistance, and it will be yours. I shall be watching, Gubo. Oh, I haven't seen Clash of the Titans, have I? I don't think so. Boglu! That's a cute name. I like his little hat. Is it, do you know if it's streaming anywhere? Okay. Yeah, the originals are always the best way to go. Just look at his throne. I want a chair like that. Tell me, in the world down below, do all of your kind look so different from one another? It must be terribly disconcerting. What was it Kuplo Cop called you again? Burr, your names are as odd as your appearance. Have you ever considered a nice Moogle name? 
Moglet is taken, by the way, Koopa. As are Mogan, Mogmoog, and Mogwin. These being the names of the three wise Moogles who will administer the momentous challenges that I have desires, devised to measure wor your worth. I call them the trials of trustworthiness. Undertake these trials and we shall soon see whether or not you are worthy of our aid. I know, I was expecting Mogwai. No. I wonder if they have any consequences if you feed them after midnight. I love the sounds they make. They're so cute. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I am Maga, the foremost alchemist in Mago, if you must know. If your tummy's gloopy or your wings are droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Or, I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my chore, er, trial. Yes, go forth, mighty adventurer, and mightily pluck three sprigs of cloud's breath for me. You'll find it blooming near the entrance to El Altom. It's not the safest of places. Don't let yourself be too distracted by the pretty flowers, Koopo. Of course, we gotta go and do some missions. Mogwin's the name, and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mogwin who can match my talent with a brush, Koopo. Oh, he's an artist. I know why you have come. Chieftain Mogwin has demanded I test your trustworthiness. But as I trust no one to create art that will satisfy me, I instead charge you with retrieving a masterpiece I seem to have misplaced. It was an ambitious and innovative work, guaranteed to fetch at least four Koopo nuts on the open market. You must find it. Question the masses. Surely a pebble painted with such vibrant color and unmistakable panache cannot have escaped the notice of every Moogle in Mago. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The sun is chilling. Rocking out. So cute. Hmm. Yes. You have the pleasure of speaking with Mog Mug. Oh, I skipped it. <laughs> it isn't easy being this adorable. I can barely take a stroll outside without those relentless Dravidians throwing themselves at me. Why, they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case, fleeing their overbearing adulation is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam, is this. Find these ardent archaeosaurus's sores and slap some manners into them, Koopo. Perhaps a firm smack on the snout will teach them to appreciate my charm from afar. So he wants me to go beat things up when they said they didn't want to cause trouble by smelling like we beat things up. <laughs> what one is missing his masterpiece, Koopo? Oh, you mean that paint smeared mess of a pebble? I've not seen it recently, a fact for which my eyes are profoundly grateful. <laughs> wow, okay. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Maestro Mogwin has misplaced his masterpiece, Koopo? Oh, happy day. If I am the swifter in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Mogwin for the price of a little perspiration. Honestly, who has four Koopo nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? I'm really curious about this, uh... This art piece. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. Or mugged with noodles. <laughs> hmm, I don't know much about his stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back way to Samal Summit from time to time, Koopo. Maybe he left it up there. He's creeping. That does not sound suspicious whatsoever. I used to. <laughs> I used to say Koopo. <laughs> well, what did you find out, Koopo? That you're clumsy. <laughs> ah, yes, now that you mention it, I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. <clears throat> the second part of your trial commences. Go, adventurer, retrieve my masterpiece before some art-starved admirer swipes the stone for himself. There's Cloud's breath. Alright, let's fight these dinosaurs. 
Hello. I said it's a hostile presence. Could it be what I just ran into, eh? You never know. Well, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, I rate. You don't say. What? There's another one. <laughs> A bull. Not expecting that. Beat the dinos, and then the sun breaks. Go tell them about the dinosaurs we killed. Beat them up for you. Are you happy now? Probably not. <laughs> Can never full, truly be happy. Alright. Mug Mug. You are able to humble my Dravidian devotees? Wonderful! You are as capable as I am captivating, Gufo. Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those louts from pursuing me so mercilessly, their tongues lolling and bellies rumbling. The Dravidians and their ilk have much to learn about acceptable acts of admiration. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm just looking around here. Sincere people. Bah. There's none of those today. Just like to get back on my choke button. Do you have any trouble finding Cloud's breath? I do need it quite urgently, you know. I got it as fast as I could. Oh yes, these are perfect, Koopo. Now I have the main ingredient for my palm tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your palm losing its bounce, then I'm your moogle, Koopo. Think my palm's okay? Thank you, thank you. Very funny. They're moggle names. Moogle bug. Margaret. This is neat. Look at how little and tiny they are. This is crazy. What are these? Do they sleep in these? Are these rocks? Statues? Looks like a house. Is that their house? <laughs> okay, let's see. Follow this map. Oh gosh, I thought I was gonna fall off the cliff. <gasps> there it is! Painted stone! This masterpiece! What a dummy! Who forgets their artwork just like randomly up here? <laughs> so silly. It's a little forgetful. This idiot. Just hanging out with the Moogles. So funny. Javit Koopa, is my masterpiece safe? Yeah. Yes, this is my work. It is not quite, is it not exquisite? I call it Contemplations of Zenith. I want to see it. Thank you, madam. At last, I can exchange my art for those delectable Koopa nuts. Chieftain Moglin will hear of this valorous deed. Valorous. Valorious. <laughs> Yay! I've completed the trials! <laughs> the Koopo for Koopo Nuts! Oh. Ready to pass judgment. Great. Burr, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administered by the Taskmasters Mog and Mogmug and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observed your conduct as well as that of your companions. And I am decided, Koopo, gather your friends before me now so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. <laughs> Now I gotta go talk to everybody. It's like, come on guys, let's go round up. All those trials over then. My tasks have been a little more than household chores. 
If I was select not to grant they, their aid after working on select pack chocobos, I shall demand compensation and Koopo notes out of principle. But I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear the chieftain's verdict, shall we? <laughs> Give me all your Koopo nuts! I don't care that I don't do anything with them. It's the principle. Standing here in Mogho, my thoughts turn inevitably to the, the legend of Good King Mogho Mog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most, I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the telling. But with every passing moment, I became more certain that we have discovered the origin of the tale. Full eager am I to hear what the chieftain has to say. Coupon nuts, they're delicious. How go your trials, warrior blight? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not their chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the Dravidians? Such contradictions aside, our hosts seemed entranced by the height of my leap. They compared me to Mog, a lance-wielding Mughal warrior of Eld, who, else, who also favored such attacks. It was meant as a compliment, I expect, but I doubt these furry lumps could outleap a Karakul lamb, much less a dragoon. Conclude your business here swiftly, Burr. I like not this place. They insulted him by comparing him to a Moogle. They hurt his feelings. He didn't like that very much. What sorcery is this? That my heart should stir at mere fluffiness? <laughs> Burr, I... I was... No matter, what is it? Chieftain Moglin has made his decision? Well, let us not keep him waiting, then. Kuplo Cop. We've become such friends, Kupo. My Mughal cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. Chieftain Mogolin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I'd better flutter over and see him then. <laughs> they are a little bit like tribbles, aren't they? Gotta make the sound. <laughs> ah, right here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Mogolin. Never have I seen such determined workers, Kubo. It would have taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errands. What errands? <laughs> and have our labors proven the purity of our intentions, Chieftain? Without a doubt. In fact, there was never really all that much to begin with. You were, after all, already friends with a fellow Moogle. Yeah, I love the, the, <laughs> the Moogle music, too. But you see, before any meeting with could take place, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time than having you perform all the tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Koopo. Grr. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear! The, the horn! Bring out the horn! Quickly now! We blow on this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with a great worm, Kubo. We are. We haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late, and I think Morgan may have sat on it. So we needed some time for cleaning and polishing and straightening. <laughs> no lasting harm done, though. Now you need simply head to Zenith, the worm's dwelling to the west, and give the horn a good toot. We are in your debt, chieftain. Thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to her of us. Skr. <laughs> Very possibly, yes. But I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Kubo. The old worm isn't terribly fond of... Um. Your concern is appreciated, but I'm quite certain that we'll welcome our overtures. She's rather confident. Should we arrive at his lair? Come, we have squandered enough time already. Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality. So we must soon take our leave. I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of this new sprung friendship twixt earth and sky. Of course, of course, Koopo. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mogho your home amongst the clans. 
<laughs> Goobers. They're so funny. Thanks for your help, Koopo. I doubt I would ever have found time for all those rotten chores. Hey, hey, it wasn't my idea. If the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chieftaining, things would never have gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. But now all the errors are done and the horn is fixed, so all's well that ends well, eh, Koopo? Indeed, indeed. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. Alright, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.